Good morning, babies. Hi, how are you? How you doing? You hanging in there? You doing your best? <laughs> um, this is a general message, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Use your own discernment. Use your own discernment and your own intuition. It's not your message. It's not your message. Okay. Uh, the song I got on Shuffle is Where It Ends by Bailey Zimmerman. This is where it ends. I've been down a few broken roads that I'm trying to mend. But this is where it ends. And I'm breaking down. You were lying when you said you were trying to work things out. But now I'm broken down. Went to battle for you always. Fought for you on your worst days. Then you told me that you don't love me no more. You're the last thing that I thought I'd lose. All I ever wanted was to be loved by you. I let you back in and gave you a second chance. Like a jet plane on a clear blue sky, sun came shining down on all your lies. <laughs> I got too much pride to let that happen again, so this is where it ends. And <clears throat> the first card that I that came out here, it's the poet in reverse. So that's um, it says turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. And what I initially got before I, you know, read further into the song and like really thought about it, um, this is telling me this is an end to, you know, beating around the bush, um, manipulating others, um, purposely like not being straightforward. Because we also have Samaritan. Um, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. So, and I'm seeing that as like, you know, using your lyric gift of like manipulating others into like getting what you want. Um, and so that's telling me this is where that um, behavior ends right now. It's an end to, oh, well, I want... I'm going to guilt people into getting what I need or, you know, getting appreciation. So, but we do have, huh, that's funny. We do have, you know, in the song it says, you're the last thing that I thought I'd lose. All I ever wanted was to be loved by you. I let you back in and I gave you a second chance. Like a jet plane on a clear blue sky, sun came shining down on all your lives. I got too much pride to let that happen again. So this is where it ends. So um, honestly, I'm getting in these connections. There may have been um, manipulation on both sides. One I'm, I'm seeing could be like the victim. I'm putting that in quotes. Uh, you know, using their service and like doing stuff for them trying to earn and manipulate that person who wasn't really giving them what they wanted so trying to manipulate them into um getting affection or praise you know i could see it as like you know say like not outside of a romantic relationship like your boss or something say you go above and beyond to your boss and then you're like look what I did like oh and you know just like the way you're saying it and all of that to get the praise and attention you want um and you know kind of like guilting them into being like oh well I'm the only person here that does this blah 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 like that type of thing um I think this message is asking to put an end to that, whether you and to bring it to the light, because yes, I'm getting there's like the blatant uh, manipulation, you know, from the other side where it's like, 
obvious lies, cheating, stealing, that type of stuff. But there's also like manipulation on another end of like, oh, uh, like guilting and, you know, maybe sharing like a sad story or something to get some sort of um, attention or <laughs> you may not be aware of it, but it's like you want clout for what you're doing with the Samaritan, which is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Well, look what I did. I did this. I'm a good person. Like, you're not saying that exactly. You know, take it how it resonates. You could be on either side of this. But um, being aware that... Because um, this has happened to me where people have been, like, helpful spiritually to me. And um, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> and so then they wanted... Um, like it was a conversation and then they wanted attention for it and they're like well you could do this for me so they they did that um you know they did the spiritual help or whatever you want to call it without me asking and then they wanted to get me to um you know put them on my post them on my youtube channel or something of that sort or um compensate them in some way like do welding for them or something like that there was always some it was like they came out with that and um wanted something in return when they I didn't ask for it I didn't ask for their service and um so like being mindful of that like opening your eyes to this and being willing to look at that part and be like, oh, yeah, I definitely done that. Because I've definitely done that unintentionally. Like, I, I just thought, like, it was an appropriate thing to do. And I look back and I'm like, eh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that person didn't ask for that. And then I was, like, pushing that on them. So being willing to look at this. So... Because there's manipulation in different ways. And that's, you know, kind of this, you know, subconscious manipulation you're doing of like wanting attention or wanting something out of a, it, you know, trying to do that transactional interactions with people instead of just, you know, if they're not asking it, then their willingness to give and be nice for whatever reason and not coming in like this poet where it's, Turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. Turns your ability to talk to people and, you know, make them feel bad for you because you had such a hard life or, you know, whatever. You're the only person that does this at work or all this stuff. Um, you know, you got to take responsibility in that situation. We have a Nine of Swords. Um, that's telling me that you might do this out of an anxiety. Um... If you get into that, like, and, and it's feeling that, you know, it all, it always like boils down to your damn childhood. <laughs> um, it's telling me that, um, you know, maybe in your childhood, you never got praised for doing anything good. It was only like negative um, attention. And, you know, so that puts you in this anxiety of like, oh, I need to get, um, I haven't gotten you know, attention from this person or I need something like it was just, it just taught you how to be that way. And so what needs to be looked at is your anxieties and worries and your need to kind of like control interactions with people in this way, whether you were aware of it or not. Um, Because since this is in reverse, that's like letting them go, letting the anxieties go, letting those worries, the need to control, you know, that um, fear, uh, spinning thoughts, that type of thing. And putting an end to this, because we have the two of wands in reverse, and that's like planning, that type of thing. So catching yourself if you do even like plan how to interact with people. Um, it, it may be so subconscious and, you know, before you interact with these people or, you know, go to say that, like, question what your motive is behind this. And we have the tower in reverse. 
that's telling me that there might be some sort of um well, it's going back to control again you know it's the way you control the whether it's your friend your boss your partner this is a way that you control things you know in your like your twisted trauma mind <laughs> your ego is like this is how I control and feel safe because by, you know, guilting them into giving me praise or whatever, like that's how you keep control. That's how you keep from um, maybe being seen for what you think you are, you know, that type of thing that um, and, you know, somebody <laughs> sees you and doesn't like you. And so then it ends, then it um falls apart and so this is your way of avoiding the the tower moment the destruction of things the falling apart of things it's the way of avoiding that losing your crown but you're also injecting negative energy into this by wanting to manipulate and control and um basically like i'm just seeing like a person like a puppeteer like you're trying to well th i need thanks and grace and um attention for this so i'm going to use my words and get the attention that i need out of this or make them feel bad for not praising me or you know whatever and we have the four of cups in reverse and that, again, is just your willingness to be, see this for the truth and also that fear of being seen, you know, it might be like a two-way thing. Like you might be seen for your, you know, whatever you fear that you could be perceived as. So you use this lyrical way of existing, <laughs> of speaking to be like, yes, I'm a good person. It's... um. You know, I, I have uh, good morals, I have good this, I have that virtue signaling. That's the word I was looking, the phrase I was looking for, your virtue sig signaling in a, way, in a way to prove that, you know, it's almost like you don't fully believe that you're a good person or, you know, you had been told and as a kid, you're like a bad kid or whatever. And so like you feel the need to, I'm a good person, I, I've been victimized, I've been, you know, all this stuff. And I'm being dramatic. It could be just so subtle that you're not even aware of it. But your willingness um, to be to see this in yourself and shift that, or just being open to the possibility that you could possibly do this, and two, um, you know, getting rid of that fear and anxiety, being seen for exactly who you are, even if you've been told in the past that you're a bad kid, you're this, you're that you're a bad person, whatever, you know, because somebody had to be rude and that you internalize that. So that like pushed you to do this, to be like, yes, I'm a good person. I do this. I do that. You know, I, I was the only person at work that was working, um, you know, that type of thing. Um, just to get like some sort of attention for that. Be like, see, I'm a good person. And this might be um, a way to, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, it might be a way to escape. You know, maybe you have done really shitty things in the past that you're aware of and you're trying to, like, overcome, like, make up for it at, because out of guilt or whatever. But it's so over, like, it's coming from a not good, pure place. It's not, a not pure, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not coming from a pure heart to do this stuff. It's coming out of guilt and that's, you know, a lower vibrational uh, feeling. So you're doing this to, you know, kind of run away from and escape from the things you may have done in the past that you feel guilty about, that you haven't processed or looked at yourself and forgiven yourself. <clears throat> and we had the, there's a lot of cups here. We have the three of cups, it fell sideways. So, um, that's telling me you kind of teeter-totter in between like maybe you've gossiped or indulged in negative interactions with negative people 
and then you know you you catch yourself and then you go over the top and like I'm a good person like you shouldn't do that and like you scold them instead of just taking responsibility for your part of it um and you know it's this like going in between between like uh, sadness and depression and then like happiness and you know like your high vibe so that r seeing this realization of like oh maybe i do manipulate people may maybe i have tried to control situations with acting you know doing good deeds quote unquote but the good deeds were out of a reason to um get attention or um prove that you're a good person versus just doing it because you felt it was needed to be done it was there was an underlying motive behind it beneath it um that like pushed you to do it versus oh i feel this needs to be done it would be good for everyone there's just something underlying and it I'm getting it's like you want to prove that you're a good person <laughs> because of some guilt or something you're trying to run away from that you just need to forgive yourself for and be like yeah it happened that's not me anymore um I don't need to prove anything and we have the queen of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck she can be extremely emotional emotionally manipulative um I'm seeing that as a person that and underneath that is the six of wands which in reverse which is you know insecurities and that type of thing um she can be extremely emotionally manipulative like the guilt tripping the you know she knows how to use her emotional world to um, control the people around her you know she could be like an emotional terrorist basically um so she knows how to control others around her with that so being mindful that you're not doing that or you know it would be just good to look at that and be like oh aha uh -huh. so this is how this like insidious thing has been happening it may not be conscious and you know i do encourage you to look at this and be willing to you know explore this and not be triggered and be like oh this is, message isn't for me this is either somebody else in my life or you know whatever i do encourage this because you know, this might be something that keeps you in a lower vibration by acting out of this. And, and like I said, it, it's this insecurity, this, um, you know, childhood wounding of, oh, well, you're a bad kid. You're this, you're that. So you always felt the need to prove and like highlight when you're doing good, when you're doing right and to get that attention and see, I'm good. I'm a you know, whatever, when you could be telling yourself, like, I'm a good person, you know, I've done things in the past, I need to forgive myself, because that's not me anymore, I'm a good person, like, it needs to be on you, you need to be fulfilling that void, that need, that hunger for affection in that way, you have, it's on you to heal that part of yourself, because if you keep seeking it outside of yourself, that's never going to be healed, they're never going to give you the right kind of love to where, it's lasting, you know, because if that person, you know, is like, whoa, like you're super dependent on me now for this, I, I can't, you're, you're stealing my energy at this point because you're still asking the same question or still, you know, acting in a certain way and nothing is changing. It's just a cycle. So I do encourage you to look at that and being willing to look in the mirror and be like, damn, I do that. I have done that. And, you know, look deeper as to why. And then remind yourself, oh, I am a good person. I don't need to seek this outside. You know, I am a good person. I do good things for people. And truly believe it and tell yourself that all the time. And not seek it from others and try to, you know, drain their energy. Because they can't fill that hole. You're the only person that can fill that void. messing up my drawers here <laughs> uh, I'll throw one more oracle card on it and then I'll close it I know it's not a great message but this is where it needs to end this is you know if you're going to keep wanting to raise in vibration and have a good life 
and you know bring all these high vibe things in we got to look at the yucky stuff that we do and unfortunately sometimes we do some not so great things and it's not that you're intentionally doing this it's just a you were programmed and conditioned in a way to do this by you know not getting the love that you needed and affection as you needed as a kid but now you're a grown ass person and have, you know, free will. And so you have the ability to change this. You're not you're not depending on anyone else anymore. Know your power. Yes, know your power. You don't need to seek this outside of yourself. You don't need to prove to others that you're a good person. Know that this is within you already. Know that's you. And we have nourish your soul in reverse. So that's telling me, just like I was saying, um, you weren't you aren't giving yourself the that talk. Instead, you're seeking it outside of yourself. That needs to be filled and nurtured by yourself. So I'm a good person. I deserve love. I do good things for people out of my kindness of my heart, and you know, shifting that, not expecting, not trying to make these things transactional. And then we have in a new day dawn. So as soon as your willingness to look at this and, um, you know, because not only is it draining the people around you that you want this from, because you're, you know, guilt tripping them and using emotions and stuff like that in a way, you know, however it's happening, whatever manipulation is occurring. Um, so by, you know, taking responsibility for you only, and shifting yourself only, a new day dawns, a new beginning happens. You know, you're able to step into another timeline because this might be holding you back in that lower vibrational timeline. And that's all you got to do is be like, damn, I do that. And your willingness to let it go and shift it, it is going to help you to jump into a new timeline where you your manifestations come in quicker. Your, your life feels more light and at ease. Yeah, you're always going to get contrast. That's just part of it. You know, and it's, you're probably mostly the contrast. Like, we're all, like, our own problem, <laughs> if you will. Just like, you know, you, your willingness to look at, you know, what you've been doing to manipulate others to get what you need in regards to love or attention or affection. That willingness to look at that is the first step you know that's really all you got to do and be like damn i do that i this is where it ends this is it i need to stop doing that all right babies i hope you have a wonderful day the last card is we are all connected so remind yourself we are all connected if you choose to take a step and you know take responsibility for your behavior that's going to help others and you know eventually follow suit wherever they are in their journey you know, you're meant to be this good leader and show people how to overcome challenges and be a better person and keep raising in vibration. Love you, babes. Have a great day.